Oh, recording. Hey guys, welcome to episode 47 of Business Brick Stories and Tips. We are talking about getting found on Google. Guys, I know some of you may probably have wondered how in the world people do this. It's called SEO, search engine optimization. Like, remember a few episodes ago, we talked about getting a blog and not just having a blog, any kind of, any page you put on the website, you have the ability to optimize it with different keywords and terms and stuff like that that you can do to your page. And what's going to happen is you're going to find yourself on the first page of Google. Now, you need to make sure you are using not a real competitive keyword that everybody is using because it's going to be kind of hard to get on the first page. So you need to kind of use like long tail keywords. And those of you guys that are in internet marketing, these terms will begin to make sense to you as you, you know, begin to perfect your craft you know so moms if you're if your business is baking cookies right you can say the best chocolate chip cookie recipe right so the best chocolate chip cookie recipe that's a really good long tail keyword i mean it's a it's six words right and so when you do that how many people are going to search for the best chocolate chip cookie recipe quite a few people and you can actually find out how many people actually search for that term by using a google keyword planner tool you go in and you type it in and you can type it in and hit search right and it'll tell you how many monthly searches are actually being done for this particular word that you put in and you can attach that keyword to your chocolate chip cookie recipe right if you want to give that out and share it with people and when you do that you can also put the link to your website up there where people can go to it you can't eat the beads baby he trying to eat the beads off my shirt <laughs> and um that's how you get found on the first page when people type in that if you are one of the smart ones that's targeted that long tail keyword you will more than likely pop up on that first page granted you do a couple of the things they require you to do you make sure you optimize your page um using that keyword and it's some simple things like putting it once on the page in bold letters and putting it again in italics and underlining it once and you know you can just it's really good and creative ways that um you can do that and still make your recipe nice and pretty it's step by step you know but that's how people get found on the first page of google they optimize their web page you know and every single page is a, is its own sales sales sheet so to speak you know so Learn how to do that with your business and you will really begin to see sales begin to pick up, you know, if that's what you're looking for. You know, so, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Business Brick Stories and Tips with Pam and my little sweet co-host here, Mr. Isaiah. Guys, go to topproducerrockstar.com and download a free PDF I have for you. And it's going to give you five key elements on how to become a top producer in your home-based business or whatever type of business it is you have. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you next episode.